Jeff. I'm happy today. What's going on, bro, man? Hey, what's happening, Jeffrey? Happy birthday, good. by the way. How are you guys? Uh, doing good. It's been crazy. Oh, yeah? Guess what I am. What's that? A total dweeb that believes in flat earth. <laughs> so well, that's I right. stayed up until probably 2 a.m. last night. Um, if you want to discuss it further, I can I can uh, explain it in a little more detail if you didn't get it. Well, what uh, is, I mean, uh, anything, <clears throat> was it uh, anything particular um, I don't know. That, are you looking for help for something, or um, you know, six months ago, if I heard this come out of someone else's mouth, I would laugh at them. You know, uh, two years ago, um, I, I would I wouldn't even be listening to any of this. But um, yeah, my life has changed since I've discovered all this. When you first break flat Earth to somebody that has no idea, you know, um, they say, "Why? Why would they lie?" And we all know that this is the greatest deception to hide the creation of Earth. Ah. Um, yeah. I, wouldn't say I'm re- um, I wouldn't say I'm religious. This might come off sounding a little religious, especially to people that are not spiritually attacked, you know? Maybe, you know, somehow he let some other spirit into him. And, um, and I will say for the first time ever publicly, I'm praying for the guy. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. There is some satanic influence in there. And I really can't even believe I'm saying this at this point because <laughs> I never believed in any of this stuff. Yeah. Um, what did you, did you, it, was, it, uh, was it broadcast recently? Something broadcast regarding it? Dick has had some rough times, you know, of uh, money is, is tight. He had some uh, broken heart. He, uh, all sorts of stuff is going on with him. I don't know what's going on in his life, but for him to come out swinging, you know, he's kind of funny, talked to a bunch of times, he seemed pretty cool, and then all of a sudden, this shift, this is not normal. Yeah, no doubt. He just came out swinging, and I have a theory on on what is going on here. Mm -hmm. Evil spirits will get in and start guiding you. He um, came out swinging against Mark and Patricia, accusing them of being sleeping agents that one day when they reached the top, that at the key moment that they would come in and drive a wedge through the community. And that is exactly what he did. Yeah. Are you seeing it the same way? Well, I was trying to f- remember. I was trying to think of who who were you talking about that uh, that made the statements. It doesn't start out like that. You literally start out by letting these satanic influences get to you a little bit and and cloud your judgment. And right now, you know, flat Earth is gaining momentum. We have this conference, which is really just a giant meetup. Hopefully, there'll be publicity, um, you know, from it. And it'll it'll get out in the news media and get out of our own echo chambers. And they are, they, when I say they, the the spirits, the the entities that are really running this plane that we live on are freaking out. And they're doing everything they can to to make us uh, divide, you know, to divide us. So they can conquer. So you know, if they split us up and we all start fighting. It, it's literally like the, that Twilight Zone where the the aliens come into town and everyone starts accusing each other of being the aliens. Yeah, or Satan. It's, like, it's, it's like spiritual warfare. It's all it is. I mean, you know, that's just what it boils down to. It's for spiritual warfare. Um, there. I, I try not to pay attention to any of it. To tell you the truth. <laughs> I do. I just like, there's nothing I can do about it anyway. You know? I, I think I that something, 
uh, clouded his ability to see what was going on. Satanic spirits. These satanic spirits have no power over us unless we give it to them. That's they, exactly they right. They sold their souls to Satan. They admit it. They, they, you know, you look at all the stuff they do. You get them pinned in a corner, they flip the table over. Right. Right, yeah, Are you and, and it that's the same it, way? man. You, a person can block them, you know, from getting in. Got to invite them. Yes. I just choose, choose just not to. It is, it is magic. Kind of like an exorcism, you know? Yeah. You get wine, you got beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of like trying heroin, I think. It's hard to stop. Mm hmm. Are you seeing it the same way? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And, and it just, uh, just want to say, like you say, you know, that, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, you got to, uh, you can uh, protect yourself from, the, from them coming in, or we can, right? And uh, we just, we simply don't uh, allow it. Absolutely. We have. We just don't allow it. It's just that, that's just, uh, that's, uh, that's what we do. It's just what we do. Hey, have you called us before? Absolutely. It's, yeah, what is your name? You sound familiar. <laughs> I think you and I have talked before. Tim. Hey, Tim. Hey, I'm glad you called, man. It's How's your week crazy. been? My garden was really sucking wind. By the way, I had the most amazing tomato. I was going to pick it today. Somebody stole it. Oh, God. Leave it up to you. Yeah, leave it up to somebody else to do that for you. Absolutely. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, brother, thanks for calling. I just looked up. i got to run here, man. Um, yeah, I just uh, I get to where, you know, I hear all that on there. And... Uh, I just I turn it off anymore, you know. I'm just all the conspiracy stuff, you know. I mean, particularly online, it's just all clickbait, you know. And I just get to where I don't even waste my time with it. Man, I, it's been a crazy year. Bye. Absolutely. Hello? Bye. Hello? Tim? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll talk. Okay, yeah, just breaking that bad. Holler, holler again. Call back some, uh, again sometime. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll okay. talk. Okay. Okay. All right, man. Take care.